so this is group 7 reporting module 7 imaging and design for social impact what do you think of this image is it a graphic design or not what about this image is it a graphic design or not yes these are examples of a graphic design what is a graphic design it is a process in which we use typography images colors icons and other illustrations to communicate visually. However, graphic design is a thousand-year-old craft which dates back to ancient cave drawings. In today's era, we use graphic design not to just communicate visually but also to have a good user experience. To know more about graphic design, here we have its elements. So the first is lines. So what, are, what is lines? A line is a kind of shape which connects two or more points element of graphic design. Lines can be thick, thin, curved, or jagged. And these are lines when we, when we apply it in patterns. Okay, what is a shape? So a shape is a two-dimensional external boundary of an object. Examples, geometric shapes, freeform shapes. Next is form. What is a form? A form is a three-dimensional shape. Well, a texture refers to the physical quality of the surface of an object. Lastly is balance. Balance have two kinds. First is symmetrical balance. So symmetrical balance, each half is identical or visually similar to the other half. Second is asymmetrical balance. Both sides of your composition does not contain the same elements. Seeding to branding and identity. What is branding? This is simply what people think about you, your company, your product, and your service. What about identity or visual identity? It is a visual representation of brand. It can be in a form of image, um, choice of color, or typography, and many more. And now, the next reporter will be discussing the layout and composition. So in lesson 3, we have layout and composition. So there are 5 basic principles of layout and composition. So the first one is proximity, which means grouping related elements together and separating unrelated ones to enhance clarity and organization. So the second one is white space, which refers to the empty areas between lines, paragraphs, and elements in a design. So there are two types of white spaces. The first one is micro white space, which means mini spaces between paragraphs. And the second one is macro white space, which means large spaces between contents and elements. Static Hedge listed some of the importance of white space design. So the following are improved comprehension, focused and attention, increased interaction rate, local grouping, branding and tone, and create breathing space. The third principle is alignment, which organizes elements for a clear, balanced design similar to formatting in word processors. The fourth one is contrast, which highlights the differences between elements such as color or sizes to attract attention and emphasize important parts. Lastly is repetition, which involves using consistent elements like typefaces or colors to create unity and coherence in a design. Hi guys, my name is Miguel Almanaño from BSHMV. And today I'm going to discuss the typography. Typography is the art of designing and arranging text in a way that makes it both visually attractive and easy to read. It involves choosing fonts, adjusting letters, and line spacing, and organizing text to create clear communication. Typography is everywhere, from websites and books to advertisements and signs, and it, and it plays a significant role in how people experience written information. The main idea of typography is to enhance the legibility and readability of text by creating a visually pleasing design. Good typography ensures that written content is easy to understand, effectively communicates its message, and creates an emotional connection with audience through its aesthetic appeal. Hello, my name is Boyga Indina Cruz, and now I'm the next reporter. And my topic is color. What is a color? Scholar is a portion for accessibility, usability, and aesthetic it plays, a significant rules website and overall user experience. And there, are, there have eight types of color. First is color scheme. 
We have the primary colors, the secondary colors, and tertiary colors. A circular diagram of this color is called a color wet. Second, monochromatic color. This color is only focused in the one color and often using vibrations by incorporating saturation of color. For example, if you chose the color blue, then you have many other colors under the same color family likes sky blue, baby blue, navy blue, dark blue. Third, a chromatic color. This color is only revolves by using desaturated colors like a black, gray, and white. Four, analogous color. Analogous color can select a group of these colors that are adjacent in a color red. 5. Complementary color. These are colors that are direct opposite to each other in the color. Well, usually a combination of primary and secondary color. 6. Split complementary color. Used for the color of both sides of the opposite color. 7. Triad triadic color schemes. It's the color schemes of the this color that form a equilateral uh, triangle. It may be a combination of primary and secondary or tertiary color. 8. Understanding color profile. Whenever you open an image, image in the things, application of by printing in. At the store, we have observed labels like RGB or CMYK. So what the profiles that we need to consider if we are going to create design? RGB. This is a profile consists of red, green, and blue. CM, CMYK. This color profile consists of a science, magenta, yellow, and pink. Okay now, so let's proceed to the lesson 6, which is the images. An image is a visual representation of the person, object, or concept. Images are not just limited to photographs, it also includes graphics and other illustrations. Most people are now relying on stock photos, as they are free or sometimes costless. There are various stock images, websites, all over the internet. We have the two categories of file types images. The first one is the Victor. It is a type of image that does not lose its quality when zoomed in. Your image will not be expectulated when enlarged. The second one is the Raster. Opposite to Victor, Raster images become pixelated when enlarged. So here are the Victor image file extension. EPS, encapsulated postscript. This Victor format are designed to produce high resolution graphics for print. The second one is the Adobe Illustrator, document or AI. Most preferable and commonly used image file type or designs. 